Okay, what's going on, Tycoons? Super excited for today's video. Gonna break down LUNC, okay, Luna Classic. And we're gonna go over the chart, all right? I'm gonna show you guys how you can combine multiple signals um, and use a combination of signals to give you much better entries and exits, help give you that edge you need, okay? Because trading, uh, investing is like going to battle, it's like going to war. You gotta bring the proper weapons to battle, okay? So what we're looking at here initially is a bullish chart pattern known as the falling wedge, okay? So we're gonna see the price action zigzag in between here until we get a breakout to the upside. Now we have started to break out, but it's not a very strong breakout, okay? So what I'm looking for is a MACD buy signal, okay? That's why I have that highlighted right here. What we're looking for is this blue line to cross above the orange line and get above this middle line right here, which is the zero. All right, that's going to give us some more strength and show us that this is in an uptrend. All right, <clears throat> now, why do I have these levels right here as some resistance to watch out for? Well, the reason being is that nothing moves down or up in one direction. It's going to retrace, right? So if you come over here and use your Fibonacci tool, right, you can take the swing high, all right, down to this swing low. So we're going to see if it's going to retrace back up to these levels. Now I have 61.8, the 50%, and the 38.2% on here uh, because these are some of the levels that it's most attracted to, right? The 61.8 is known as the golden ratio. So we're going to see if we can come down, retrace back up to this level um, and possibly take some gains there. Now, if we blow through this, right, and these aren't valid resistance, then we can expect to come up to the top of where this pattern began as a valid price target, okay? Because in a perfect world scenario on this breakout, it's going to come up and hit at least where it started. But sometimes we don't always get perfect world scenarios. So we're looking for that MACD buy signal. And we're also aware that we may get rejected here at the 61.8 um, and continue heading back down lower if it wants to do that. All right. Now we'll break down the whole rest of the chart. So stay with me. Okay. We have a nice head and shoulders right here. We got a right shoulder. We got a head. We got a left shoulder. Boom, 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 boom. All right. That one hit. That play played out. Um, and then we come over here and we can see that we actually had another head and shoulder here previously. And there was multiple, multiple signals here uh, to, you know, go ahead and take some profits. All right. If you were playing all of these bull flags that we'll get into um, and the first signal, OK, to me was this bearish divergence. So pay attention to the relative strength index down here now. All right. And I have it written bearish divergence right here. So this H stands for high. All right. So we have a high and then we have a higher high. All right. So clearly, you know, this token is very strong and in an uptrend, but is it so strong? If we take a look at the relative strength index, we have a high here and we actually have a slightly lower high. So, you know, you would think that if the token is going so much up, right, in such a dramatic fashion, you would see the relative strength growing as well. Well, it actually got weaker and that term is known as bearish divergence. Okay. So that's a sell signal right there. Um, then you can combine that over here with the MACD sell signal, right? We got our blue line crossed below the orange line. Um, and once you see that happen and you start to see it trading down below here, that's a sell signal, okay? And it's a very, very valid sell signal. If you look, it dropped about 70%, okay? That was a 70% drop that you could have seen. We first got the bearish divergence right here, right? And then it comes down. And then right here, we get our sell signal on the MACD. So, you know, that's what I mean by combining things to give yourself some confidence and give yourself an edge. We had two indicators there of some possible bearish activity. And the third one, uh, you know, ultimately being the head and shoulders, right? We formed a left a shoulder, a head, a right shoulder, and we came down um, and hit that play, okay? Now we'll go ahead and take a look over here. And we were bull flagging very, very nicely, okay? If you see, um, here's our first bull flag. Okay, we come up, we bull flag, we have a very nice breakout. And then again, we get another bull flag come over here. Sorry for the squiggly lines. Um, but yeah, you know, you guys don't care about that. So it's a very good um, to chart these things up and look for any signals right now. This is a great example here of the golden ratio and why it's so important to pay attention to. All right. What we did here was we took our swing low. OK, up to the swing high. So again, nothing's going to move in one direction. It's going to retrace and then push up higher. Right. And we can see that the 61.8, we did have a wick right here, um, but, you know, it held this level very, very well. All right. The 61.8. And ultimately, 
we pushed higher and started bull flagging and created those patterns that we just went over. So if you learned anything in this video, make sure to like it, okay? Smash the uh, like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know um, what crypto you want me to analyze next because I actually do viewer requests every single week. Um, you know, I've got a round of viewer requests coming out by this Friday. Um, so, you know, look forward to those. And yeah, just let me know. Okay. I'll be happy to do it for you guys as soon as I can. You just have to leave a comment down below on what ticker. Okay. Or what, you know, stock, uh, what crypto, what strategy, even if you want a little bit of a tutorial, I can do that for you. Just let me know.